So you're never too old to learn something new. And last night I learned something new about the song Ride the Lightning. Now that's a song I've been playing my entire life. My old teenage metal band played that at the junior high talent show. And I found out that I was actually counting it in wrong. And one of my subscribers, Ian, thank you by the way for letting me know, he left a comment and he said, Mike, did you know that in Ride the Lightning, the toms in the beginning where the song starts is actually on the four count and not the one like a lot of people thought. And in my brain, I thought he was wrong because we used to just go one, two, three, four, one, and two, like that. So the toms would hit on the one. And so I was like, are you sure? You know, we've always played it this way and that's the only way I've ever known it. And then he explained it a little better. He's like, no, actually in some old demos, Lars would go one, two, three, four, and he would hit the toms on the four. And so I just thought about it. I'm like, you know what? That makes a lot of sense because the following riff, when you go like this, the toms are hitting on the two and the four. So that would make sense because it would just continue on the same pattern like that. So what I did earlier today is I made two versions of that intro, one the wrong way, one the right way, back to back. Check it out. So thanks for clearing that up, Ian. Now, I had just done a Pantera Bad Tab video. I'm not sure if you guys have seen that yet. But in that book, there are a lot of mistakes. But one thing the book actually taught me was that I was thinking of the intro to Heresy incorrectly. I was always thinking of the beginning right, right away with the harmonic. I was thinking of that as starting on the one beat because there's no count in. So I just assumed it's one, two, like that. But when I was looking at the notation, it said that it actually comes on the and of four. And I thought about it again. I'm like, you know what? Later on in the song, when the power chords come in, they are hitting it on the and of four. So it's like one, two, three, four. And. So there's a push going on there. So it makes sense that the intro would also do that. Now what's so tough is I hear it on the one all the time. So I had to relearn it and practice it for a few days in order to do it somewhat close to the actual version. Coming in on the and of four is not easy for me playing this riff. I'll try it real quick here. One, two, three, four, and. Because I'm starting on the and of four, the entire riff feels different as you pick through it. You'll see if you've had the same problem I did. Once you change it, it takes a while to adapt to the new feel. Here are the two versions back to back. And the last riff I'll talk about today is one that fooled me for a long time. I had since figured it out for many years now, but back in the day when I first heard the uh, opening riff to Anima, that's how I pronounce it, by Tool, it was very confusing because it's kind of a rolling sounding riff. And my brain kept wanting it to be like a 3-4 type riff. And you'll see it when I play the video. there's a quick tip I have for you to feel it correctly. Right off the bat, when you hit the first note, just start going one and a two and a three and a four and a, and you're good. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a. It's just a better way to count it than when the drums come in, you're not surprised. After recording the wrong version today, I thought that would have been cool if they would have kicked into that at least once just to uh, give you both feels. I thought that'd be kind of nice. 
Now I've already done other videos on other intros that confused me growing up, like the Rock and Roll by Zeppelin intro, Shortest Straw, Leper Messiah. Check those out, those are a lot of fun as well. But I thought I would show you these three and add to the collection. So let me know if you guys have had any trouble with these intros in particular, or any other intros. Maybe I can cover those in future videos, so I'm excited. Okay, thanks guys for watching and we'll catch you later, bye-bye.